Hey, what's up guys? So here's how to connect the D4R2 receiver to the NACE32 flight controller. I'll show you how to wire everything, also uh, wire up your telemetry, then show you, uh, take you in a beta flight, show you how to set up everything there, and then we will uh, get telemetry working on our Tyrannus. So first let's look at the uh, NACE32. This row of pins here are going to be your input pins. If you look on the back side, you'll see the abbreviations for G and D for ground, 5V, which is going to be power to your receiver, and then uh, channels 1 to 8. On channel 1, it's not only an input for a PWM receiver, but also it's for PPM. And that's important to know because the D4R2 is actually capable of both PWM and PPM. We will be using PPM, meaning uh, well, with PWM you would have one signal wire on each one of these signal uh, pins, meaning uh, you'll have four wires for four channels, plus another wire for power and another wire for ground. So six wires and only three channels. With PPM, uh, with PPM we can actually get eight channels and all eight channels will come through one signal wire and then of course one power and one ground so three wires eight channels that seems like the best way to go to me so you'll take this little jumper that came with it when you purchase this and you want to jump the signal pins for channels three and four this will convert it to ppm i just took a three wire servo cable and direct soldered them to the board you don't have to you can use pin headers if you choose uh, but I will take this, and this is going to go on channel number one, and make sure you uh, have the wire orders in the same uh, way. Oops. See, I'm not practicing when I'm preaching. Uh, so the white signal wire is going to go on the outside, where the number one is. Then uh, power is in the middle. Ground is you know, towards the center of the receiver. Um, so basically, just follow that diagram right there. Now let's talk about telemetry. For this is a, a strange, it's not a strange flight controller, it's a completely outdated flight controller. Uh, but to get telemetry on this one, we need our telemetry wire, it needs to go to a soft serial port, which right now, this is not set up for soft serial, but that's what we're going to do in beta flight. Uh, soft serial number one is actually on channels five and six, soft serial number two is on channels seven and eight. So we will be using soft serial number two, and I have this uh, telemetry wire running to channel number eight. I took the uh, four pin, four wire connector that came with the D4R2, and I removed the three wires that we don't need, and just have that one wire soldered onto channel number eight. This is going to plug into the side, just like that. And uh, if you're wondering which wire is to remove, the only wire we need is the one on the very end. So this one right here. These three other uh, wires, you can actually just take a razor blade, lift the tabs up, and pull the wires out individually. So now we have everything wired up, and it should look something like this. Now let's just take a USB cable and plug it in. Just one more problem with this flight controller. Uh, Pretty much all other flight controllers, when you plug in a USB cable, that power is not only the flight controller, but also the receiver. This flight controller does not do that. So we have to apply power uh, from a 5 volt source to power the receiver. To do this, uh, if you use linear ESCs, uh, just plugging those ESCs in on the output channels or output pins, uh, typically 1 to 4 if you have a quadcopter, those linear ESCs have a built-in 5 volt voltage regulator, and that is what provides power to your receiver. Uh, if you're like me and you don't use linear ESCs, you use opto ESCs, then uh, opto ESCs don't have that option. So instead, what I do is just use a, a PDB with a 5 volt voltage regulator built in, and I have the power and ground wires running to output uh, channel number six, the ground pins are going to be on the uh, outside, all the uh, center pins are power. So now if I plug in a LiPo battery, I now get power to the receiver. At this time, you, you now have to bind your receiver. 
I'll leave uh, links to my D4R2 playlist, Nays32 playlist, and also my Tyrannus series playlist. Uh, in the D4R2 playlist, you will find the video where I show you how to bind it and also change firmware should you need to. And uh, check out those other playlists as well because there's a lot of other uh, helpful videos. Hey JC, welcome back. Cheat mode active. I'm waiting for it. Okay, now with my transmitter turned on and I have... Low battery. Battery critical. Damn it, it gets me every time. With it already bound and my transmitter turned on, I'm now getting the solid green light, which means uh, I'm good to go. So hopefully you're at this point after you watch those other videos. Now we will just go into beta flight and connect. And first things first, let's go to ports. And uh, actually, first we want to go to configuration. Scroll down and make sure that this is set to PPM because we are running this receiver in PPM mode. Uh, you can leave this alone, it's not going to matter. Scroll down and turn on telemetry and soft serial as well. Then save and reboot. Now we can go to ports. And because we put our telemetry wire on soft serial number two, uh, just come down here and go to telemetry and choose free sky. Then save and reboot. Now we just need to test everything, so we will go to the receiver tab, and when I move my joysticks around, roll pitch, yaw, and throttle are all moving. If you have created any switches, you can go ahead and test those out now. Things are about to get real. Hybrid mode. Stunt mode active. Cheat mode active. Okay, everything's working. Now let's talk about telemetry. So on your Tyrannus, you just want to press the menu button to go to your models. Hold down the page button to go backwards a page to telemetry, then scroll down to discover new sensors and press enter. And here is all of our telemetry sensors. If you are seeing all of these sensors, you are now done with this video. If you are only seeing four sensors, uh, then continue watching. If you are only seeing the four sensors, then that means your telemetry is not working. Uh, the reason for this is because those four sensors actually comes from the receiver itself, not the flight controller. Now you get telemetry from two different places. If your receiver is getting power, then no matter what, you will always get those four sensors, even if your telemetry wire is not connected to anything. So because you are getting those four sensors, that means your receiver is working, but something is wrong with your telemetry. Uh, the very first thing I would recommend checking is uh, go to the CLI tab, and this is mostly going to be for you clean flight users. Uh, we will just do set space telemetry, enter. Uh, check to see if your telemetry version is on or off. If it's on, then leave it on. If it is off, you, then you need to turn it on. So do set space telemetry underscore inversion space equals space on. Press enter. If you typed it in exactly like that, then you should get this message, meaning that it worked. If you misspelled any characters or left any spaces out, then you're, you're going to get unknown command. Uh, so once you see this message, then just type in save and press enter. Now go back to your Tyrannus and rediscover sensors again. Uh, and at this point, you should now be getting all of your uh, telemetry sensors. If you are still not getting all of them and only four, then that means that uh, the only possible things it could be is you messed up something in uh, your configuration. So in the ports tab, make sure it looks just like this. Uh, also go to configuration, make sure it's set to PPM and you have telemetry turned on here. Uh, if it's not that, then make sure you have your wiring correct. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Um, make sure you check out this playlist for other helpful videos, and uh, I'll see you again soon.